Hello, mathematicians. Um, today, I'm going to give you two choices. You can either listen to this entire video, or you can listen to all, you can take your learning into your own hands. So you do not need to listen to this whole video if you promise me that you will look at every slide and either read the words or listen to the words. And really think about what are they saying. Um, and then you'll do all of the green boxes and do page 98 in your student book. So if you promise to do your best on all of these slides and to really listen and to think about things, then you do not have to watch this video. If you need help with this, you should watch this whole video and really think about it. All right, so uh, you can cut me off or not. I'm gonna keep going. So mental math, what is mental math? Mental math is what you do in your head. You're not just adding the numbers in there, guys. You're actually thinking about stuff. So you need to be able to explain how you're doing your math. So you're thinking, how would you explain the strategy? So we're gonna work on that today. So you don't need any pencils right now, you're doing it all in your head. All right, mental math. Use the button below when you have answer in your head. What is 49 plus 35? You can pause me and think it through, think it through and then hit the red button. All right, you've got your answer to 49 plus 35. Use numbers or words to describe the steps that you took to solve the problem. So don't just write 49 plus 35 equals whatever it equals. You need to show me what did you think about? Did you split up the tens and the ones? Did you make 49 into a friendly number and then do the addition? What did you do? So you're gonna write that in the green box. The next slide, using mental math, was the addition problem easy for you to solve with mental math? These two thought it through. One says 49 is so close to 50 that it makes the problem easier. I added one to the 49 to get to the friendly number. Then I just added the rest, which was 34 to 50. They had to take one away from the 35 because 35 was, because they gave one to the 50. So she used the um, take, give and take strategy. I got 84. And she says, yes, I took one from the 35 and gave it to the 49 to get 50. Then I added 34 to 50 and got 84. I could do that in my head and not have to write it down. Sounds to me like they both did the same thing. Was this problem easy for you to solve with mental math? This guy says, I tried doing the standard algorithm in my head, but it was hard to keep track of. I did it, but I don't think I would, it, I would have been able to use mental math to do it if the numbers were bigger. So he thought this through, but he admits that maybe that was not the best choice. Think before you add. So what does this mean to think before you add? Well, it helps to take a moment and look at the numbers in the problem to decide before you do a strategy. So you're thinking, what should I do, right? Do mental math, use a familiar strategy, but write it down, use a pencil and paper and the standard algorithm. So you're making a choice each time you do a math problem and you're probably choosing from one of these three things. Think before you add 64 plus 27. Don't solve it yet. Just pause and think. What do you notice about the numbers in the problem? You're going to write that right here. I noticed that. What do you notice about 64 plus 27? And when I say, what do you notice about these numbers? I'm asking you, can you think of a way that would make this an easy problem to solve?
Now you're going to solve the problem. So show your thinking with pictures, numbers, or words, and you could also use this number line app if you want to. So 64 plus 27. You should pause this video and do this work right now. You're going to add to this box. I'm going to make this green so you guys know you need to do it. All right. Think before you add 199 plus 199. What do you notice about the numbers in this problem? What do you notice? You're putting that information here. You're not doing the problem. What do you notice? Pause the video and write that right here in this box. What do you notice? Now we're going to decide how to solve 199 plus 199. Would you rather do mental math using a strategy that works for you in your head? Use a familiar strategy but write it down? Or use pencil, paper, and the standard algorithm? Move this star to the one that you want. This one, this one, or this one. Uh, then explain your reasoning. Finally, so still you're not solving it here. Why do you like this strategy? You're going to write that right here. Now, finally, you're going to solve 199 plus 199 and show your thinking in this green box. So you should pause the video because you have work to do. All right, the next one. Ooh, it looks like they're getting harder and harder. Think before you add. 926 plus 575. Hmm, don't solve it yet. Just pause and think. What do you notice about the numbers in this problem? Write what you notice about the number in this problem. Don't solve it. Pause the video and write what you notice. Now you're going to decide how to solve 926 plus 575. And you're going to put the star next to the strategy that makes the most sense to you. Everybody will do different things. You're going to explain why you're using this strategy. It may be a different strategy than the last time you chose this. And finally, you're going to solve 925 plus 575. And you're going to put, you're going to show your thinking here. Typing 925 plus 575 equals whatever it equals is not showing your thinking. I will not accept that. 925 plus 575, you need to do some work in order to figure that out and I want to see your work. Finally, you are going to work on five problems on page 98 in your student book. You're going to do these five problems with the standard algorithm. That's stacking it this way and using notation like 3 plus 6 equals 9, 9 plus 3 equals 9. You're using the standard algorithm. If this had been a 4, we would have had a 0 in the 1's place because there's a 0 in the 1's place in, a, in 4 plus 6, and we would have had to add another 10. Um, so the standard algorithm is what we learned yesterday. All right, so page 98. Um, five problems, standard algorithm, and then a different strategy. So what would you usually use? And if you usually use the standard algorithm, then show me something different. You could show me on a number line. You could show me a give and take. You could show me splitting it out. So separating out the tens and the ones. Um, you could show me using um, a drawing. Okay, there are lots of ways to show your math. And that is it. Come to office hours if you have any questions.